Hello and welcome to Jamulings in Conversation with series. As Peter Berger quotes that efficiency is doing the things right and effectiveness is doing the right things. Well, our guest of today is someone who believes in doing all the right things efficiently and effectively. He is a successful businessman and a visionary entrepreneur. His persona is a combination of ever rising energy and channelized implementation of the same for a successful running of his organization. Mr. Rakesh Bhatt, Director Shalimar Flooring Private Limited. Hello and welcome to the show sir. It's very nice and it's a privilege to have you here. Thank you very much. So you're the head of Jammu Carpet Dynasty I would quote and uh, you know being the director of Shalimar Floorings which has done some extraordinary business and feats of Jammu Carpet industry. How does it feel to be heading that? See, we have seen the carpet industry in uh, Jammu uh, right from the zero when I started the unit in 89-90. That time people never uh, knew what is a carpet here in Jammu. And once I went to the, the, the industries department for the registration of the carpets, so I told them that I want to register a wall-to-wall -wall carpet unit. So they said that wall-to-wall -wall carpet, where you have to put the carpets? On the walls? I said, no, a wall-to-wall -wall carpet is not a carpet which is to be put on the walls. It is between the wall and wall. So, uh, so the people were not knowing anything about the carpets here. And then we, uh, when I started it uh, from a very small scale, tiny uh, sector, where we used to have the local uh, labor from here and we used to weave the carpet on the hand looms. So that time people never knew uh, the carpets can be uh, weaved, uh, the broad loom carpets can be weaved on a loom. People knew only the hand tufted, hand knotted carpets which were being made in Kashmir. And people had no concept here in Jammu that the carpets of that things can be made in Jammu also. So that was the first unit of mine which I registered in Jammu. And. Uh, after that, we gradually uh, we increased uh, the productions and we increased the, the colors and patterns. And then we reached a stage where uh, it got stagnated because the people uh, wanted a change, the people wanted the designs. And then in the international market, a new revolution of machines had come. So people wanted the Belgium carpets. So a lot of imports used to come from uh, Belgium and other countries to India and to our state also. So then we had to take a jump from the small scale sector to the uh, medium and large scale where uh, the, the, the investments were huge and the machines were to be imported from Belgium. But we took an initiative because we were already in the line and we didn't want to uh, leave uh, this line. and. Uh, wanted to make a expertise in the same field. So again that was the first unit in, in our uh, state to get the machines from outside the country and we uh, started this uh, Belgium carpets unit here in Jammu where we are um, buying all the yarns from t Turkey and other places. The machines are all from Belgium and we are making one of the best product here which we are not selling only in uh, JNK, but we are selling all over India and we are even trying to export it to other countries also. We have started selling in South Africa, we have started selling in Italy. So the, the quality of the product we are making is uh, as per the national international standards. So it is of course a, a pride for our own state also that we have a, such a unit here in, in, in Jammu carpet industry is one of the oldest industry of the state especially prevalent in Kashmir and there are a lot of government organizations also who are manufacturing the same so what do you think are the concerns uh, that are faced by a private organization but are not faced by a government organization you see in government organization uh, there are uh, units which are uh, run by the government for the carpet weaving but they are basically meant to uh, give the training to the uh, youngsters, young people and 
nowadays in the carpet field also uh, we don't have so many people who are interested in having a handmade carpet uh, weaving because people don't want uh, to have a laborious job of you know making a carpet sitting on a carpet and weaving it for 6 months they thought they think nowadays that they go out somewhere and uh, they have a easy money and why to put so much of strain in 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 the carpet uh, units there so the government that way is trying to promote uh, the the basic uh, the art of our uh, state of the carpet weaving but in the private sector there is no such support there is there is a zero support from any government agency which can help us you know putting up a unit or uh, giving us some uh, expertise giving us some know how about the uh, the machines or helping us to get such uh, uh, people contact and th there's no such uh, agency here in 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 our state which helps a, a private entrepreneur to come into this kind of a field so uh, that way whatever we have to do we have to do everything of our own so government has no role in promoting a uh, industry in a uh, in the machine made here talking about government's role government recently came up with the uh, industrial policy under governor's rule which uh, attracts an investment of about 2000 crores of uh, investment per annum do you think it is supportive enough for the private entrepreneurs that are coming up no i don't think so uh, it's going to help uh, to attract any private entrepreneur here at least because uh, we had a very good uh, package 10 years before and the same package was given in himachal also in himachal with the same package they got a investment of 30000 crores and in our state we just got a investment of i think uh, 1000 or 2000 crores and that to 50% of those units got closed and rest 50% who are running they i think they are also in a planning to uh, switch over from here because unless and until we have a atmosphere of you know bringing the industry here in our state uh, the entrepreneurs from outside the states are not going to come and our local young uh, boys they are also not so much uh, keen to adopt any kind of a policy here and you know they they put up any units here uh, th there is no uh, actual support from the government to promote a industry in in our state the government uh, in on papers you can you can show that you we have a scheme like this and we have a scheme like that but physically when you go to avail those schemes you, it it will take you months and months together to uh, get those schemes so then you uh, the, your morale becomes down you feel uh, you feel totally uh, dejected that why you have come to a place like this where the government is not itself supporting you to put up a unit here rather than if you see if you compare our state with the many any other uh, state like gujarat or any other place there the government they they follow any entrepreneur who is coming up with an investment they follow with him that and they see to it that the unit is put up and uh, they are uh, you know they they attract the entrepreneurs to that place and they make it possible to make them run as fast as possible but here in our state it is totally adverse uh, very sorry to say but uh, this is a fact the the government itself is not so much uh, interested to run and to have good units here in in our state do you think political instability like the situation that is prevailing right now affects that of course political instability uh, definitely affects particularly for those people who are coming from outside the state because when they see the state itself is uh, instable so they are afraid for uh, doing any investments they never know that if we are putting up today 1000 crores and tomorrow there is a new scheme coming up because of instable government a new government comes uh, they they reject the previous scheme and they bring something else so it's uh, for them it is afraid to come here like if you have a if you have some scheme giving here after in the mid mid of the uh, term you just change the scheme you just put some riders and uh, suddenly you come to know that okay you had come up uh, to put up a unit here with some uh, with something in your mind which was there on the papers but suddenly after 6 months you see that they have changed it mm. 
and then you are not in a you know you cannot do anything then so that instability definitely affects our industry very badly what is your take on uh, make in india initiative do you think that uh, this initiative will bring india to a different uh, business plan definitely make in india is a very uh, dynamic step which our uh, prime minister has taken and we appreciate it but just to say make it india does not solve it we have to make it possible that things are really made in india and for that every state every part has to play its role unfortunately our state is not at all in that uh, phase you know th they are not um, they are not supporting anything of that kind where you we uh, really feel that we are also doing something to make our state also a contribution in that to have a, a make in india so i don't think so our state is doing anything great for that but it is definitely a good step businessman is also attributed to being busy so are you able to give uh, enough family time to your family definitely my family uh, they are little annoyed with me because i am not able to give them so much of time because we have uh, grown from a very uh, grassroots level where we used to uh, we used to do everything of our own and particularly in our state uh, you a promoter is himself uh, he is looking after the production he is looking after the marketing he is looking after the finance he is looking after the government departments so it is one man show which you have to do all the things yourself if you uh, if you lack somewhere it is going to affect your business and because of that you will not believe since last 20 years i have not taken a sunday off also i work on sunday also i come to factory sunday also but maybe i don't work for the whole day but uh, there is no day i have taken a half i'm happy about it the one woman show going happy at home i don't think so <laughs> i don't think so so what have been some of your failures uh, during the journey of your uh, entrepreneurship and what have you uh, what are the important lessons that have come across lessons i would tell that you know for an entrepreneur uh, you have to remain dedicated a entrepreneurship is a totally different thing it's a challenging thing that challenge should be there inside you and if you have that challenging mind you can achieve it when i uh, was in my handloom unit where my maybe plant and machinery was just couple of lakhs maybe 20 30 lakhs rupees only and then we had to think that to go for a machine made where the plant of machinery is around 8 to 10 crores so how we'll do it so it was a big uh, a big job in front of me how we are going to achieve it but i'll tell you one thing that if you are dedicated you get all the uh, doors open and you get things uh, but it it depends if you are really honest in your working our bank came to uh, rescue a bank was helping us a lot uh, we are thankful for the to the jnk bank also for that uh, they uh, i i told them the project it was a big project for me also to take uh, this one but i make them convinced that uh, your money will be safe it won't be like vijay malia and i am going to run away with the money so they were convinced with the project and the background which i was doing so we made it possible so only your dedication should be there and you should work honestly you can make it that is sure but there are sometimes you know you have to move with the time if you uh, don't move with the time uh, then you will not be able to uh make it with the demand which is coming up if you lose that time period you lose business so it's very important for you to uh keep a track of your own uh, work where it needs any modification any uh, upgradation of technology and uh, so if you are with that you will have never any problem so time is money for you yeah. yeah time is definitely money so what is your favorite part of being a businessman my favorite part being in business i love my business 
I love my work. I love the designing. Uh, I create my own designs. We never copy any designs of anybody. That is uh, my strongest point, uh, strongest part rather. We make our, I, I make uh, with my own designer team, uh, we, we make our own designs, color schemes, and uh, which becomes very popular to all my clients and uh, I'm proud of it. Any last message you'd like to share with our viewers? I would say everybody, uh, particularly for the Jammu people, that uh, they should uh, think of Jammu and they should uh, work for Jammu and they should come up with the entrepreneurship. Because you don't have the government jobs, why to go out and do a job for somebody else? Whereas you can, you have the caliber, you have the capacity of doing things yourself. We are here, we are here to help anybody if uh, people want to know how to run a business, how to start a business, we can help them. And I want that uh, the young people of Jammu should remain in Jammu and they should, uh, they should become a part of the economic development of our state. Thank you so much. I'm sure the young entrepreneurs are listening to you. Thank you so much for being on the show.